Hey, what's up, YouTube? Sick Flows. I'm back with part four a day earlier than I told you, but you know, it's all good. Better for you guys and stuff. So let's get started. On track one, I have my instrumental. As you see, it's at negative 9.7. So it wouldn't leak through the headphones into the microphone. Track two and three, um, they're the same exact verse, you know, they're part of the same verse. Thing is with me, I don't write down my music. I go from the top. And wherever I fuck up, um, I'll go ahead and cut it and start it again on another track, as you see right here. So let's go into the editing. Double click on your verse. First thing is you want to clean up the audio. By that, I mean get rid of any unwanted noise. And um, you excuse also, me, you excuse me for that. Message. All right, that was a fucking text. But yeah, you also want to um, go ahead and... Um, limit down your breaths, you know, because if you have a deep ass breath and, and when you compress it, the breath is going to come out and it's going to sound ugly and you don't want that. So go ahead and highlight a little part of the, the verse where you had no noise, where you had no raps or anything. And we're going to go to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction again, get profile from selection and hit close. Now we're going to double click to select the whole entire thing. Go back up to effects, noise reduction again, and hit OK. After we do that, I'm going to show you how to do the breath right now. Let me zoom in. You guys are going to want to zoom in also. As you see, on, I don't know if you can tell, but I could because I've been doing this for a while. So this right here is the breath, you know. What you want to do is you want to cut down a few like you know a few db so to do that you go into amplitude amplify and depending on how loud it is you know mine are usually at negative six so i'll put at negative six db cut and hit okay if yours are louder um go ahead and you know make a negative nine negative seven and so on you're going to want to go ahead and do that throughout the whole entire verse okay now the next step is eq we're going to go ahead and EQ, highlight everything. We're going to go to filters, graphic EQ. And this is my own preset. 31, 62, and 125, they're all at negative 12, as you see right here. Let me bring this back to negative 12. Okay. So the first three are all negative 12. The next four, which are 250, 500, 1000, 2000, they're all negative. 0.5 now for 4k you want it at 0 0.5 8 you want it at 2 db and 16 you want it at 0.5 now if you feel like your vocals are you know too deep into the mix and they're not coming out you're going to want to mess around with 4 8 and 16 by bringing those up a bit you know just play by ear you know and we're going to go ahead and hit okay Next, we, next thing we want is the de -esser. For that, we're going to go up to FFT Filter, click de and hit OK. Now we're going to want to go ahead and compress the vocals. So we're going to go to Amplitude, Dynamics Processing, and this is my own preset I've already made. Um, you're going to want to compress 2.5. Okay, the, the ratio um, for rap vocals, you want it either from two to you know four. I would say two to three, but you know, um, the higher the ratio is, the more your vocals are gonna be sunken into the mix, more further into the mix. You know, so for in-your-face vocals, which that's what rap vocals are, you want it anywhere from two to three. You know, for your lead vocals, for your backing vocals, you might want to bring it up to six. You know, six ratio, maybe eight for your backing vocals. But for since this is my lead vocals, I'm going to have it at 2.5. The threshold, you know, you're going to want to mess around with that. And you usually start at negative 10. It's a good start. But you play by ear, you know. If it sounds, if it doesn't sound right to you, go ahead and, and keep changing it. For this one, I'm going to have go ahead and have it at 13, negative 13.5, for example. You know, I'm not going to take my time and listen to it because I'm just showing you guys what I, you know, what I do. Um, and actually, let me go back because I messed up real quick. So, 2.5. And the threshold, I'm going to have it at negative 13.5. Let 
Now the attack release, you're going to want the attack time at 6.4 ms and the release time at 115 ms. This just leave it there by default and you're going to want to go ahead and click noise gating if expanding more than 50 and 1 ratio and go ahead and click OK and notice the wave change. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is the delay. Well, reverb, but for that you got to go into delay effects, go into reverb, and this is my own preset for rap. You're going to have 700 ms at the total reverb, attack time at 10, the high frequency at 1812, perception at 0, original 100, and reverb 10% for this one. Um, you can mess around with the you know with the reverb percentage the web percentage I'll go I'll say anywhere from 5 to maybe 20 you know it's just whatever sounds better for you you know go ahead and do that for this one I'm gonna go ahead and use 10 and hit OK now I'm gonna show you guys the delay it's basically an echo you know but the delay will make your vocal sound more fuller you know without having to go ahead and double up your vocals and everything like that for Coetta Pro, um, I kind of like it. I kind of don't because, you know, it's simple, but it doesn't go into depth with it. So, you know, there's not much you can do. But the delay for this one, I'm going to have it at 625. Depending on the song, you know, just like I said, bring it up, bring it down, you know, just mess around with it. But usually at 625 is a good start. And right here, the percentage, um, the louder the percentage, the louder the effect is going to be on your vocals. You know, obviously, you don't want it too loud to the point that you can hear it, you know, as well as the vocals, you know. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and put it at 10%, you know, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. OK, now this next step that I'm going to show you, we're going to go back into the multi track. OK, now we're going to sit here and, you know, match the vocals and the instrumentals, you know, so that they fit into really like well together you know so the instrumental doesn't overpower the vocals or you know the vocals overpower the instrumentals they have to fit in you know so um, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to hear it and if you are gonna hear it it's probably gonna sound shitty because I'm in the headset and then it's gonna pick it up from the headset but I'm gonna go ahead and listen to it make sure I'm not peeking right here at the bottom and also make sure that my vocals sit in well with the instrumental <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna have it at negative ten point one for that instrumental and have my my vocal track at zero. Okay, now what you want to do is after you have made sure you've done that, you know, you're going to go, oh, hold on one second. If that's one way to do it, if you know, if you want to go ahead and you know about EQ, you can go ahead and go into um, your instrumental track and go to a graphic equalizer. And you can scroll down and you're going to hit gentle mid cut. As you see, it's going to cut down the mids. And your vocals, as for rap vocals, your verses, they're always in the middle. So if you cut down some of the mid on the instrumental, it's going to give you some room for the vocals. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And go back. And I'm going to listen to it again real quick. And as you see, as as I did that, I had to go ahead and change the volume a little bit because it did give me some room. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next step with this, which is going to file. You know, you're gonna want to save down the mix down as a dot wav. I'm gonna name this boss test. Go ahead and save it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to bring that back into the um, Coeta Pro. So open it up. 
Okay, and I'm gonna drag it into track four. And I'm gonna go ahead and solo that. So I can mute everything else. The reason for this is because, you know, you want your songs to sound louder, you know. And for that, I recommend mastering, but, you know, since you can't master in Quetta Pro and I'm not showing you how to master on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get it, uh, you know, at the loud level, you know, so it can sound okay, you know, better than what you already had. So for that, I'm going to have the, the entire mix on track four and we're going to hit the effects button. And for the effects button, we're going to go into amplitude and hard limiting, as you see, I already have it here, and then click on properties. You want to limit max amplitude to negative 3 dB. What that's going to do is going to bring up your whole entire song up to negative 3 dB, and it will not peak over it. You do not want it to peak at zero, you know, because peaking will distort the, the speakers, make your, your music sound terrible. So... You know, when mastering, they do put a limiter on mastering, but you know, this is just a limiter. Um, I can't maximize anything on Quetta Pro, so here at least you have the limiter, and go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead myself and listen to it real quick. As you see, it stops at negative 3. It does not go louder than negative 3. Let me stop that now. All right, and that is all for the tutorial. Oh no, wait a second. Um, after you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and file, save mix down, and you're gonna want to save it as MP3, obviously, MP3 Pro. Go on options. Okay. Now we're gonna have this on MP3 Pro. Okay, and what you're gonna want to do is, you know. Or, matter of fact, MP3. Sorry about that. You're going to go all the way down to 320 KBS and have it at 4400 stereo and hit OK. That way you have the best possible quality for, you know, for the song. And I'm going to go ahead and save it as Boss 1. Save it. Wait for it to be finished. And there you go. Um, coming up next. And another video is going to be uh, the Adobe Audition 3.1 tutorial for those who have it. It has, you know, more presets. You have more freedom to do whatever you want. You could also master in that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I do on there. And then on the program that I currently use, Cubase 5.1, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to mix to get the, the most perfect sound on it and master it too. So thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys next time.